Hi, I'm Dave King from Under the Hood Barbecue, located down here in Nelson, New Zealand. And today, we're gonna make a porky. Check this out. First things first, let's light up our charcoal. We use sample hot shots. We know that this is made a perfect briquette for this type of thing. It burns nice and hot, but also nice and long. So first of all, chuck that in our chimney. We grab ourselves a salmon match. Pop that on there. And let's go prep up our meat. All right, so time to prep up all of our ingredients. Here we have got all of this goodness down here, and we're gonna take all of this, and we're gonna turn this into one massively good feed. Very, very excited. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our poiki, which basically just means a uh, little pot in Afrikaans. So uh, people call it sometimes a poiki pot, but the correct way to say it is just poiki. And we're just gonna prep up our stuff, get our onions prepared, ran off our meat, and we'll just follow our process as we go. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so we've prepped up our veggies. Now check this out. We've got our coals, which we lit just before. We've got some of them are a little bit black, but they're gonna catch in a little bit, so we've got enough heat there to keep on going. So what I'm gonna simply do is grab my poiki, put it straight into the center like that, and we're gonna let that get hot, put some oil in, and get our onions in. All right, well things are getting really exciting right now. Our veggies have just been prepped up, and our coal is ready. Come and check this out. We've got a coal on top, and we've actually used the smash blade right here. And we've done that so we can actually have this sitting nice and firm. This is starting to heat up. And what we're gonna simply do, take a squirt of our good oil. And we're gonna get our onions into that. In just a little bit, let's go. All right, onions time, let's go. This is smelling amazing. I've just done a little test of onion just to make sure it's good. We've just got these onion rings. Look at this. Whew, smelling good already. Lamb neck chops. Does it get any better than this? Just grab them. Straight into the poiki. So we took our onions out to make space for the lamb neck chops. And what we've simply done, we haven't seasoned them yet, but we've got uh, just enough in there to brown them off. A little bit of crack of salt and pepper. And then we've got a little bit of the uh, lamb love rub by treat your meat, get some seasoning in that. A little bit more cook and we'll take them off and carry on. Man, I wish you were here so far, so good. Smells amazing. Let's keep on going, yes. Alrighty, here we go. We have braised off our lamb. We've got our onions that we took off earlier with some bay leaves, which we're just gonna pop into there like so. And then we're gonna grab ourselves some stock, pour that through absolutely everything. Right, we've got that done. Next up, we've got ourselves some wine. So we're gonna give a little bit of wine. And we just got just a cheap supermarket brand. We didn't go for anything expensive. A little bit of wine to that. And a little drop for me. Cheers to you. Beautiful. A little bit more wine for in there. Now, at this point, really, really important because we wanna make sure that that's all covered at that point. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna grab myself our trio of potatoes. Grab ourselves our carrots, our baby onions, our green beans. And I'm gonna mix that up and I'm also gonna get ourselves some extra stock there, which we knew that we were gonna need just to top that up and make sure that we're fully covering everything that's in there. And last but not least, we're gonna grab our pokey lid, pop that under the hood, and we're gonna come back in a little bit and check out how that's all tracking. So far, absolutely epic. So while I'm relaxing around the pokey, I've gotta let you know a little bit about why I'm passionate about this. I went to Africa years ago and we learned how to braai. Uh, I spent about six months over there, which was absolutely awesome and I uh, fell in love with cooking uh, as I fell in love with eating. I was about 21 years old. So uh, you can't do a porky by yourself, so I've got my friend Douglas here. Uh, Douglas, how you doing, mate? Good, thanks. All right, cheers to you. Happy cheers Senate. to you. 
So um, the poiki. So we went uh, to Africa. We went on safari, and we poikied. Uh, I don't know if that's the correct term, but we had a poiki yeah. every morning, every night, every morning, every night. That's what we had. Uh, we were staying by, by riversides and stuff like that. It was absolutely awesome. Um, so poiki, tell us about that. I mean, what does it What does it mean? What is it about? Well, being from South Africa, growing up in what used to be Transvaal and now called Kamping and a little town called Heidelberg. Growing up with Poiki, it was basically that. Growing up with it, you had, you'll attend a Poiki competition where people will have their own recipe, where they would <clears throat> think that their concoction of Poiki is the best concoction out there. Right, so my friend Fred, he says to me that you, there's no special way, it's kind of, it's on your terms. Yeah, it is. You would say, yeah, you can't mess it up, but you could, you could burn it. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> right in the beginning. But today we're doing a good job with this so yeah, far. Yeah, no, so far so good. I've been uh, keeping a close eye on you and you're well talented and, and versed in cooking the meat. So we could say, you'd say this is a bio lacquer? Bio lacquer. Bio lacquer, like a bio lacquer. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, we, we, we actually went hunting and they actually, um, the trackers that were with us at the time, we, we uh, hunted the springbok and they came out, they gave me the liver out of oh, the springbok yeah. and they said to me, if you have this, you'll be like a wild warrior. Well, being 21 at the time, I didn't know anything better, so I just ate the liver raw. <laughs> and, um, and meanwhile, these guys are rolling on the grass, laughing hysterically, like it was the best I joke I'd ever seen. I what it was. Yeah, no, it was liver, it was liver, oh. but it was raw. It was like, <laughs> but they said to me, you know, they said they'd, ne they'd never seen a white man uh, from, you know, like New Zealand that you come and do that. So, yeah. hey, but right now, the rest is history. Uh, and right now we're really enjoying our lekker poiki. Yeah, well, you're lucky you got the liver and not the other bits that are considered the, uh, the, more adventurous. The uh, the box uh, oysters, so to speak. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, it's time for the pot brewit. Did I say that okay? Yeah, pot brewit. There we go. Okay, we're going to grab this and what we've done is we've taken the coals from here. We put the charcoal down underneath here so we've just got, we don't want heaps of heat. And then we will put some, uh, some charcoal up here too. So let's grab this very, very carefully, like so. I'm just going to place it and shape it a little bit. Look at that, that's looking absolutely gorgeous. Let's come to the time where we're about, so we're going to put in our button mushrooms in our courgettes. We've just got ourselves a little bit of water here with some onion soup, a couple of uh, packets of it, and this is just to help thicken it up. So I'm just simply going to pour that in like so and then I'm going to grab uh, a butter mushrooms and our courgettes and I'm just going to simply ladle them in just by tipping that in and then I'm just going to push them down to make sure we get covered and look at that beautiful color beautiful flavor so we had to add some thickening agents like the onion soup that we've done before and then these leaves are gonna suck up some of the juices. And what you wanna do is you wanna keep the leaves the whole and we just pack them on top. So like, like this? Like a new lid, yeah. Just like that, face down, well, shells down. Alrighty, here we go. It's time to cut the bread open. Let's take a little peek, shall we? Look at that, fluffy. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be some sensational eating. Let's get into it. So I'm super excited because we've cooked all day, and now it's time to eat. So I've got myself some rice. We've got our pot bread down here. Now the poiki, we haven't stirred this up until right now. And what we're going to come in here right now is grab this, grab some good meat. And we've got ourselves a bit of carrot there. Make sure we get some potatoes. Make sure we get some, uh, some button mushrooms into that. And then also grab ourselves some cabbage right over the top and some sauce and just dribble that over. In South Africa, they say this, this is by lacquer. So let's give this a little try. Mm. Sensational. Let's eat, let's get into it. 
let's go. Well, that's it. That's our cook done and dusted. We had so much fun today. And uh, the food was just simply incredible. Absolutely out of this world. So right now, we're just going to go and eat our meal. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed that, like and subscribe. And we'll have another meal coming out under the hood very soon.